All right, I have pulled up the list of avail uh, free Favorite agents. adult stars. No, sir. You're the one that gives me the education on this stuff. I know what that is. <laughs> Tag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Uh, so, first off, thank you to Sean Rogers, Mr. Rogers Homes, number one real estate agent, number one top 1% realtor. That's a big deal. That's like a really top big deal. 1%. Top one percent in the state of Arizona. We are the uh, top one percent of Buffalo Bills content creators in this car. <laughs> yeah, that is correct. Paul, where's the like button? Well, I think it's uh, right down. Wait, wait. Let me do the math. I don't know. Quick it's somewhere down there. Two plus two is four. Minus one. That's three. Quick math. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys, if you guys don't know what that is, <laughs> that is Roadman Shack. You are on man the wrong too hot. <laughs> Yeah, man, too hot. Man not hot. <laughs> oh yeah, man not hot. That's right. You can go school. <laughs> so we want to walk through uh, free agents, pending free agents with the Buffalo gotcha. Bills, and let's just do. We kind of did this before, didn't we? We were talking about draft. We played a game where we did draft free agent, um, resign. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we're we're gonna just go resign. We're talking about the free agent. Right. So we're talking about re-sign or draft that position. Right. Yep. So let's just take – because here's the deal. Buffalo right now has no money, right? Yeah. So free agency, let's just imagine for a moment they're not going to replace these players with other free agents, right? The only option on the table is to re-sign this player or to draft the replacement. So because, again, Buffalo has no money to spend, so talking about who they're going to sign in free agency, it's going to be guys that you might be maybe familiar with. Right. Okay. So let's start. Jerry Hughes. Are you gonna draft that replacement? Oh it's, God, no. Yeah. No, you're not drafting that replacement. I don't right? think you're resigning him either. I agree. I think you're kind of walking on that. One, one. year, five and a half. I would do. No, one year, two. Nah. Two mil? Yeah. No, they've been extending the life of Jerry Hughes for quite some time. It's well, finally time that that. that isn't you know, that his market value though? Five something. Because probably. He's only going to play a max of 45% of the snaps, if that. Well, that's what I mean. Buffalo has kind of hurt the market for Jerry Hughes in the free agent game because he's played so many He's played so many fewer snaps than other players. But has been age. productive in those fewer snaps. That is debatable. That is debatable. I think he has been. I think he has been, too, but I'm just saying that. I think that's the Pressures are a stat, Paul. Sure thing, Mario. Sure thing. I mean, uh, hey, if Teddy Bruschi has Oh, God, hits. hits. Uh, the Teddy Bruschi hit. And who's back there? Teddy Bruschi. <laughs> he bounced off Marshawn Lynch in the backfield. Like, oh, but who was there? Teddy Bruschi. So stupid. I can't. It's so dumb. That's Patriot so Lynch. dumb. The Patriot Lynch. It's like that's Teddy Bruschi was like the 29th entrant to the Royal Rumble. You know you're close, right? So close to good. Not the 30th entry. That's such a great comparison. That's true, though. All right, so Jerry Hughes, I think we let Jerry walk, right? No draft, no free agent replacement. You're probably good at the position. You're letting that one go. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mario happen. Addison. Same. Same thing, right? Yeah, cut copy. You have used uh, your resources in that respect. Uh, Burnham Butler. Yeah, but the body type, I think, is what's interesting here, right? You end so, up drafting that, yeah. I think you draft that body type. I, I don't think that there's a player They on make the fat guys every year. That's, I, and, and that is a soundbite on the Rock Power Report. <laughs> Thank you to yours. Truly quoting this man right here. So that is true. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't think you're. I don't think you're. Uh, you Sanders. either have that in house or you're going to draft it. I don't think there's enough in house. I think you have to draft a receiver here. I think you have to. You have to put some resources to drafting a receiver. They're, they Buffalo has not been afraid to do that. If Hodges is good to go, are you still drafting? You still have to. You still, yeah, you still have to. I think you still have to. And I think you draft this replacement early. I really do. I we we haven't seen Buffalo put a big resource into a receiver besides Stephon Diggs. I think you got to you got to cut that out. 
because you look at Diggs now, right? What would you rather do? Would you rather draft your next receiver? I know you have Gabe Davis, right? Yeah. But wouldn't you rather? I'd rather stagger that position. I would too, right? Um, okay. not, yeah, like you said, you're not going to have enough money to buy that position. Right. And a couple things. Like some people are like, well, Emmanuel Sanders only cost him $2 million this year. That's a voiding year. It's a voiding year. It's, he's not it's actually a on the team. Deal. Yeah, he's not actually on the team. He is a free agent. Um, and typically when you have voided years in a contract just for you guys at home, um, that's usually a marker that that's a player you don't intend on re-signing because you're, there's dead money in this year. You're paying him for what you already paid him last year. So anything you give him now is just going to be exponentially uh-huh. added to that, right? And you don't, you don't want that. Uh, Mitch Trubisky. You know, I've seen people say sign and trade. I don't. I'm not down with that. This is a basketball. I know. Uh, I don't think you re-sign him. Yeah. Obviously, due to the amount of money, like people are talking about him going to the Colts, and Wentz being gone. Like, the backup quarterback market is starts at 12 million. Yeah, it's crazy. It's isn't it? it's stupid expensive. So it's you're crazy. not going to be able to afford him. What no. was he last year? Oh, near nothing. You got him for near nothing. I last know. Year. It was. Dope. I mean, but it was. But, it was sub 10. You're playing a well sub ten. I mean, if, if the Giants can make cap room, they will draft. They will, they'll get rid of Jones, get Trubisky, and then draft Trubisky's replacement. That's that's what that's the path Trubisky's going down, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I agree. Like I agree. I do think Buffalo drafts a quarterback probably in the late round, so. six, seven round pick. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you got Davis Webb, end of list, right? It's just. I think that's, that's yeah, probably and the way that Allen plays. There is one hit away from him being on the sidelines. Right? That's exactly it. You need a five. You need a quarterback that can win five hundred. Don't get me wrong. Half your games. Davis Webb's got big old arm, big yeah. old arm, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I think you probably need a little more resources there. I think they probably draft a quarterback late. Mike Bucker. Um, due to an episode we talked about earlier about Cody Ford moving to a zone scheme. I think you don't know what you have in Ford, so I think you may have to draft Butker's replacement. I I agree. You're probably drafting Butker's replacement. I, I, mean, I know everybody's going to say, oh, just you. resign him. But Butker put enough on tape to be a starting guard for 27 NFL teams right now. Yeah. So I just don't I don't foresee them being able to bring him back. I think, yeah. I think the number's just going to be too high. Levi Wallace. He's gone. I think you draft that in the first round. We've yeah. already argued about this. You know what's so interesting? We haven't re-signed any of these guys yet. No. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're drafting that replacement. I agree. I think you're drafting that I replacement. I think the Buffalo Bills, to their credit, number one, they don't have any money. No. Okay. So they can't sure do that. Don't. You have to enter the draft with the amount of money to draft those players or else you're not drafting those players. Right. So they need to get their books right for the draft themselves. Yeah, they got to clear about 10 mil yeah. total. So that's what you need to do. That's number one. Number two... The work that these ki- these kids have done for the Bills, they've earned the right to hit the free agent market. Agreed. I very much agree. I think that I I very much agree with you. Yep. There's a there's a point where it's a respect thing where you let them go test the market. That's what they did with Isaiah McKenzie. Yeah. Right. right. That's what they did with Levi Wallace. They let them go test the market, and then those what, players came back. Yeah. What do you think your true value is? And if like, if if it's like a thing where Levi Wallace gets signed by Houston, mm-hmm. three for twenty one. Right. Like, good for you, kid. Yeah. You earned your contract. You right. You know what I mean? So, well, that's why giving Cole Beasley the ability to go test the market now, looking for trade partners, teams can, t- teams can legally say, listen, we don't like you at $5 million. We like you at $3 million, but we don't like you at five. So, then mm-hmm. we're out. But that makes him go, okay, I know what my, my total value is. Just cut me if you're Buffalo, right? Yeah, yeah. And then you can go back and say, listen, nobody wants to trade for me. This is where they think my market is. That I'm not willing to take a pay cut to there with you, so just cut me. Yeah. Right? So That's how the business part of it works all the time. Right. And it's yeah. fine, but yeah. So can we have a laugh? Taiwan Jones. You're not drafting or replacing that. It's You got Siren Neal. Will you stop with Siren Neal? He's going to be a weak side linebacker. I'm telling you. Well, how many... How many linebackers for this team are going to be on injured reserve when you're starting Siren Neal, a weak side linebacker? F.A. Obata. How dare you? I'm, I love F.A. Obata on this team. And he'll be cheap. I do, too. Yeah, he's league minimum. I think you're resigning F.A. Why Obata. not? Yeah. yeah. I, I would get him one year, two mil. 
there were times where he was a little out to lunch, right? Where he over pursued plays but and he, things like that. You're but, not asking him to do crazy stuff. Right. You're asking him to, listen, go and plug this hole. Right. Yep, totally agree. Love him at DT. Don't love him at DN. Yes. Love him at DT. Yeah. Who oh, said that, by the way, last oh, year? Yeah, I don't when know. he got signed. Yeah, I don't know. Obaba. Mm. Obaba. Um, all right, uh, Matt Burita. Sorry, Paul. Yeah. Draft. <laughs> you know you're dra- mm, drafting no, a running back not. again? I know. I want the Bills to draft a running back so bad. We have a bet on the table. About we this. sure do. We sure do. I'm all in. Yeah, I don't think you're replacing the player that Matt Burita was. Although, I think they acknowledge the fact that they needed speed in the offense. I, I... If you trade... If you trade Zach Moss for a player that can play both Moss and Rita's position, I'm fine. Bobby Hart. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, next. Brian Cox Jr. Gotta see ya. Yeah, deuces. Harry Phillips. God, I don't think you can draft I mean, you can't you, draft him right now. I don't think you can put the resources there. You know, I know people are all in on defensive tackles right now for the Bills. And, and truth be told, history says, valid, right? Valid thought. I just don't think you can put the resources to it right now. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can go out and get the free agents. They spent a, sh- a ton of money on defensive tackle free agents the last couple of years. And um, I just don't think you can put the money to it. Justin Zimmer. Oh, how dare you toy with my emotions. Yeah, come on, Justin Zimmer. You drafted that position. You think? You cannot draft Harry Phillips, but you can draft Justin Zimmer. He's going to be That's 30. That's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. So I think you draft Zimmer. You're going to get the same. Pr- if you just think about it, what would it cost to sign Zimmer at 30 years old versus drafting a fourth rounder or later? I could do the same things in the days. Right. Yeah. Um, I can go with you on that. I actually think they re-signed Zimmer on a one-year deal. Uh, and I don't know what he's like after that injury, though. Like that's yeah. a huge part too. Well, that's that's why I think you can you can just one year him. Oh, you, you can know, do it for cheap. Yeah, yeah you can one year. Pretty- Last one: restricted free agent Ryan Bates. There's no way in the world that they don't tender him at a first or second round. They There's just no way. If they don't. If they don't tender him, if they don't re-sign him, uh, there goes my jersey collection. I'm telling you. Just a, another one on the wall, man. It's just another It's another problem. Minus. Yeah, that's a big minus. That's a big minus. All right, so uh, let's see here. So we basically said the Bills don't have to re-sign anybody. That's a pending free agent. No, we said a few. Uh, just a handful. Harry Phillips. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, see, there there we go. There weren't many. That's, no, that's weren't the many. point, right? That's the point. But it all comes down to the price tag. But I think the Buffalo Bills, as you know, we said, they want to extend the respect to the players that they had. Yeah. Because, listen, go test it. Right. If you want to come back, you know, we're going to be here. We'll try to work out the numbers. But you guys have earned the right at this point as UFAs to test the market. Right. We know this is a business. We understand if you guys decide to go to greener pastures for more money. That's how it works. We'll, we'll re-chart. And this is one of those things that I think the Bills want to have happen. They right. want their free agents to get signed yeah. to big deals because what happens then? Compensatory picks, Compensatory baby. Compensatory picks will come back. Go get those picks. Because the Buffalo Bills know that with Edmonds and Allen, you're not going to sign any big-name free agents over the next two to three years. Yeah, you're stuck. So you need draft picks to supplement those positions. Right. And plus, you have Oliver coming up, and like, there's some there's some problems there. I still really do feel, Mar, that that I would be shocked, shocked if Daryl Williams isn't traded. Shocked. Look, he signed a deal to be a tackle. He mm-hmm. signed his deal as a tackle. He does not want to be a guard. He is a cheap tackle, but an expensive guard. Right, and there's a lot of teams who would love an, a seven million dollar tackle. Because on the free agent market, you're, if you're paying seven mil for a tackle, that's that's inexpensive. You know who can use them? The Giants. Oh God! There's, there, oh my God, bro! Come on! There's thirty other teams, Mar. No, twenty nine. What? Carolina. Carolina won't want them back. I don't know. I don't know. New regime. Fresh scouting department. 
I understand it, but my point is this: I think that the uh, the Giants' offensive line was putrid. Though. Oh, awful, awful. Yeah, so, awful. They have so many needs, though. It's hard to do. nail down exactly what they need. But I think Darrell Williams is a second-round pick. You can get a second-round pick for Darrell Williams Ooh, all day long. All so? day long. And wouldn't it be Ooh. fascinating? You trade Darrell Williams for a second-round pick this upcoming draft, right? And then you take that second-round pick and your first-round pick, and then you say, hey, we got to go. It's time to go north. You trade up. Four. Well, I mean, I'm going to say running back. Four. Right? I'm gonna say running back. You don't need to change. You don't need to trade for a running back. You already have Saquon. I did that just to trip you guys. <laughs> Hit the like button.